Good morning, Marnie here from Yarny Marnie's Crochet Corner. Um, so today I am going to show the items that I made over the weekend and I also plan on showing a few of the items that I made before Thanksgiving when I wasn't doing any videos. So it was like 10 days, uh, uh, 10 days short of a year that I had done any videos until this past week. So anyway, uh, to start things off, I, I made six hats over the weekend and a pillow. Uh, two of the hats I made on Saturday, two of them yesterday, and two of them today, while also working on a pillow, a Christmas pillow. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the pillow first. So here is the pillow that I worked on. It's the same on both sides. And this is a overlay mosaic crochet pillow. Now the the pattern um, I bought this on Etsy, but it's also a free pattern on YouTube by uh, Courtney at Fiber Fox Studios. Um, I did the her pattern, but um, on all of the things, all of the uh, mosaic patterns that I do. I always use the Heather Noble designs, uh, the way she starts and ends each uh, each row. Um, I use her method of doing that because I like it better. Um, and I also started with uh, an I chord, which is the way she starts. Heather uh, Noble starts hers, so I used an I chord on this to start it, and then use the beginning and ending of each row Heather Noble design and then the design itself this this pattern Courtney at Fiber Fox Studios so yeah I love this love it love it you can still you can hear the, the tag rustling around in there <laughs> all right so those that's my pillow that I made over the weekend actually it took me a couple of tries I tried to use a larger hook and I didn't like the way that that was coming out and I ended up going down to a G hook wish I hadn't gone down that small I, I wish I would have used a five millimeter instead but it is what it is it's done um, so on to the hats that I made this weekend um, I did three regular well they're they're all uh, of the uh, Claire Bun Beanie and I think I've got a little bit of a piece of yarn sticking out there that I didn't cut off short enough. I didn't turn it <laughs> right set out. Um, so this, these three here are just the regular Claire Bun Beanie by uh, Ashley at A Crafty Concept. And this, uh, this part here, just on the cuff of this hat, this was... Uh, oh, I got the label here. Crafter Secret Big Idea in the colorway Pearl Fleck. And I wanted to see exactly how much I could get out of one of these big rolls of the Crafter's uh, Crafter Secret yarn. So I ended up getting two of the Claire Bun Beanies, just the, the beanie is uh, the bun beanie, the ponytail beanie, and two of the closed top beanies, and then the cuff of this one. So these are all the closed top, and then these are the bun beanies. Um, I also did another bun beanie. This was by uh, request uh, a friend of mine I went to school with so I made this for her she wanted a ponytail beanie um, I can't remember what this particular it's a light gray I just can't remember what it's called and the this yarn right here that I used is uh, I love this yarn it's all I love this yarn except for the crafter secret so this is I love this yarn this is uh, Birchwood Cottage absolutely love this colorway love it love 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 it I wonder if the light will make it look better 
and these two again were the uh, uh, I keep forgetting the name of this stuff this is the crafter secret pearl fleck uh, I didn't realize how much I really liked tweeds until I worked with this yarn and oh my gosh I love this stuff and I am definitely going to have to get more so two of those and like I said, these are the closed top. I just absolutely love this pattern so much. And this could use a, a hair dryer fluff, but I don't have a, a functioning hair dryer. So. And I put a, I, I put a button on the inside, just a little itty bitty button there just for the, the loop so that you can, you know, you can take it off and wash the hat. Because I don't think these will, will uh, fare well in a washing machine. All right. So those are the hats that I made. Oh, I forgot to tell you the, the color win. This this was the uh, light taupe. I love this yarn. And then I used the Crafter Secret on this bottom part on the cuff. And so... That is what I did over the weekend. And now I'm going to show you some of the things that I made uh, around Thanksgiving, before Thanksgiving. And also, somebody had requested seeing the scrap blanket that I was making. And I, I guess I'm finished with it. I didn't, never did sew, sew the strings in. I haven't decided if I want to add another color or not. I probably won't. Uh, but I will show that and I will be right back Okay, so here are some of the other things that I made while I was not doing any videos and One of them is this pillow right here And this is just a, a regular size pillow Because I ended up making these panels too big <laughs> but I love it and the the pattern is by Heather Noble Designs, and I bought this off of Etsy, and then, uh, I don't remember, I think I just kind of went my own way with this border here, but there's another pillow, not the Christmas tree since I already showed you that one, but also that round pillow there, there's no pattern for it, I just kind of went my own way with it. Not a Christmas pillow though, I just put that, uh... Uh, bow on there that I bought from Aldi last year because I love that truck Okay, and this blanket here. This is an overlay mosaic, overlay mosaic crochet by Beba Blanket. I Believe I bought the pattern on Ravelry. I Can't remember it might have been Etsy, but I think it was Ravelry and I kind of did my own thing with the uh the edges, which I will know better next time. I should have turned my work after each round, but I did not. Therefore, the edges curled. But I will know better if I should make this pattern again. But I really liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Christmassy. And then another thing that I made was this hat this uh, the pattern for this is by uh, yarn utopia and the only thing different than what she did in her video is she added a uh, edging um, around the entire hat although I did make a couple of hats that also include the edging so yeah my Santa hat or elf hat, whatever you want to call it. All right, so this is, I guess, my Christmas tablescape, if you will. And now I'm going to show you some things that I made for Thanksgiving. Um, I want to mention before I show the scrap blanket that I used the even moss stitch to make this blanket with a 6.5 millimeter hook 
and I got the stitch pattern from uh, uh, Sarah at Rich Textures Crochet. So I had forgot to mention it, so I'm mentioning it now. That's what I used for the scrap blanket. Okay, so this was a a scrap blanket slash bedspread, whatever you want to call it, that I was working on. And I could, uh, I don't know, I still might add another color to it. I, I really don't know if I'm going to or not. I actually use it every night, so. This was one of my projects. And then these pillows, both this one here and this one were from uh, the Heather Noble Designs uh, page. YouTube page and Etsy shop. Um, I cannot remember. I'll have to put it in the cards or put it in the description box below what pattern this is, but I absolutely love this pattern. I bought it off Etsy. And here is the flip side. And it is um, Mosaic Crochet. This is the side I like because I like the green. Um, the pumpkin, no true pattern, just kind of went my own way with it, but I, th I think it's cute. <laughs> okay, now, on to these things that I made for my Thanksgiving tablescape, and I doubt that I remember where I got all of the patterns for these things, because, <laughs> uh, there's just a whole bunch of different ones, different patterns that I use. Some of them I didn't use patterns. Some of them I just kind of went my own way. It's a couple of three squashes. Butternut squash. I actually really like the way the butternut squash turned out. Um, so both of these are squashes. And I got some apples in here. Got a bunch of apples. Okay. I know I got another apple somewhere. Okay. And then I got a pear. I got a acorn squash. I got a cute little candy corn. Oh, another apple. And a pumpkin. Just a small little pumpkin. Here's a little miniature pumpkin. Okay, I'm going to stick those back in the basket. Now I've got a couple of pumpkins that I put faces on. Some of these I probably could have gone with a smaller hook to not show the stuffing through, but that's okay because they're mine anyway. I'm not really giving them to anyone. Now, here's a basket that I made. I still want to do a... I did some spray starch on it to make it a little stiffer, but I think I want to do the gluing method to make it even more so. Now I'm going to dump it out. <laughs> so... Yeah, I can do the glue and water to make it more stiff. Um, I'm not sure where my pumpkins are, the rest of my pumpkins. But anyway, these are just all leaves that I made. Different colors, all different sizes. Solid colors, variegated. Real easy patterns. Most of these, uh, most of these patterns, uh like this one here that are shaped like this are from uh, Crystal at Bagaday Crochet. <clears throat> but yeah, there's just all kinds of leaves in here. Small leaves. So yeah, that's those were fun. It, it took me a week to do all of these things including the basket and that pumpkin, and then the other little pumpkins that I have, um, 
and I am going to go find those right now. Okay, here is the rest of my Thanksgiving tablescape. Got a little acorn here. Some little pumpkins. A couple of them have faces on them. Not, I don't remember which ones. Oh, here we go. This one didn't. I think this one does, yeah. So yeah, there's all my little pumpkins. And then I made some Indian corn. These didn't stay as straight as I wanted them to. <laughs> yeah, some Indian corn. And, oh, and I forgot to bring out the thing that I put them in. Hold on. All right. So this is the cornucopia basket that I made to put all of my stuff in. Just, I kind of had it all spilling out, you know, all the apples and stuff. And it's quite stiff, which is what I wanted. I know it looks a little funny, but I used, to make it stiff, uh, the starch didn't work the way I wanted it to, so I mixed... Elmer's school glue with water and kind of saturated it and just waited for it to dry and there you go I got a, a basket that stays upright <laughs> rather than flopping over it took a couple days for it to dry but yeah this was the outcome this was on my little tablescape I'm going to actually put a picture on here of how my table looked I had all the leaves all over it so I will have this stuff for next year and I won't need to make anything and I can make other things like hats. And there's a stack of some of my hats. I'm going to save all the other hats I think for another video because there's just so many of them and it gives me a reason to have content for another video. So, alright, that's going to do it as far as things to show right now. Okay, I'm back. So uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I'm going to, um, tomorrow, I believe I might show some, some of the amigurumis that I made, um, before Thanksgiving. Um, maybe some of my hats. I've got like three bags. They're, uh, just, uh, like grocery type totes filled with hats. Um, I don't remember what else. I think that's probably it. I don't know. I'll probably find more stuff. Um, I am going to go ahead and show you this hat. It, it ended up being way too big. It is a checkered bucket, bucket hat. Way too big. Whew. Way too loose. And I used the, the hook size. I, I don't remember what pattern it is. I don't, I have no idea. I don't remember where I got the pattern. Uh, but I really, really wanted to make a, a checkered or yeah, checkered hat. So I don't remember the hook size I used on this, but whatever I used, I should have gone smaller. So for now, my uh, little mannequin here can wear it. I just keep it on her. <laughs> and because I was having uh, trouble getting her to stay in place I've got her on this paper towel holder and uh, that's what I was I was using for a while and then it, it came apart I ended up having to glue it together but <laughs> so yeah it looks better on her even though it's bigger on her because this is a, a, a pretty small uh, styrofoam head But there you go. All right. Don't fall over. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go now. Uh, and I will show more stuff tomorrow and try to figure out what I've made that I, well, there's some things I just can't show uh, right now, at least not until after Christmas, because I fear family members watching this and seeing things that I have made for them. So <laughs> I'm going to hold off on anything that I made for anybody. And uh, I didn't really do any videos 
of those things. Um, I just took pictures of them, so there won't be video for that. But there will be pictures of the things that I made. So I guess that's going to do it. I hope everyone has a great day. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.